So there's this switch on the wall. We didn't know what it did when we moved in. Okay. Uh, turns out that when I press it in, it turns on the light over there on the lamppost. Oh yeah, okay. The problem is when I release the switch, the light goes out. Do that again. Yeah, so I press it in, goes on, release it, goes off. So it looks like it's a bad switch. Not a big deal. We can swap that out. Mm -hmm. Looking at this light post though, it's in pretty rough shape. You can see the lights cracking, mm -hmm. the antique brass. I don't know what that matches, but it's all rusty. It, wait, a little shaky. It's seen its better days. The light bulb is actually keeled over. Well, you know what? I, I think they replaced the whole post. Oh. Just start over again. Sounds great. All right, well, let's get some tools and get that post out of there. Sounds good. All right, cool. All right, we've located the circuit breaker inside. We've shut the power off. Let's get this shrub out of the way real carefully. We'll put it back afterwards. There we go. Okay. Put it right in there. Now, let's get the post out of here. I'll hold that over there. Sure. Okay. All right, let's take that away. I'm going to pull the post now. All right, Joel, here is your new lamp post. So it's a standard three inch diameter and it's seven feet tall. It'll accept any light fixture and it's all aluminum, so it'll never rust. Oh, that's great. And I've brought this light fixture. What I figured was we could match the roof lines of your house right here. And also the wrought iron railing, real clean look is right here. What do you think? Oh, it's beautiful. I think it's a great match for the house. Great. I just don't see a light bulb in there. How does it light up? There is no light bulb. It's actually a diode. This is it right here. It operates on standard 120 volts and you'll never have to change it. And it'll give you a lot of light too. Oh, I like that. So that goes right in here like that. What do you think? Looks great. All right, we need to get the wire up the post. That's what this hole in the side is for. All right, got it. We're using a special concrete made for posts. You pour it in the hole dry, you don't have to pre-mix it, and then you add water to activate it. All right, that's good. All right, Joel, we've left the concrete set for about an hour, give it a tug. That's pretty sturdy. All right, let's get this light wired right in. All right, so this is a diffuser right here, and this will soften the LED diode real nicely. All right, let's get the top of it put on. All right, now let's get rid of the old switch. This box is not to code. Someone cut the back of it off, exposing the wood. I've got to replace it with a weatherproof box, and while I'm at it, I'll pull a new wire up for the new switch. Instead of using a manual switch, I'm using an astronomical time clock. It'll automatically adjust itself as the days get longer and shorter. It goes on at dusk and off at dawn. You never have to touch it. I'm going to cover it up with this weatherproof cover. There's one more thing I want to do for you. 
Most outdoor fixtures have three matching styles, mm -hmm. a post light, a ceiling light, and a wall sconce. I want to replace this so it matches the new post light. Okay. So I've brought this sconce here, completely matches it, a little smaller in style, but mm -hmm. it still has an LED diode, so no light bulbs. Nice. All right, yeah. let's get this down, put the new one in. Hey Joel, the power is back on. What do you think of the sconce? Looks good. Well, wait till you see the post light. I've gone ahead and hit the timer switch. It's gonna go on a little early, but tonight it's gonna really look great. I can't wait to see it. Mm -hmm. 